Now our project is set up, we need to create necessary component for the block. For this, we need to create three components. First one would be our main component that would contain every component that will be created. Second one uh, would be an article list, uh, which is the list of article components. And indeed that article component is like the third one. Uh, so n for now, uh, as you can see here, we just rendering hello world. So let's create start with our main component. Inside the SRC folder, we create a new file. We call it main.js. This main.js uh, is a React component, so we need first to import React. From React, and then uh, we define the class. We call it main. That will extend from React component, and our uh, component will have a render method. And for now, we'll return an H1 saying uh, main, just to see uh, if it's working fine. Now to test our component, we go to the uh, index, and instead of rendering this H1, we need to import the main from main, and then here we replace this line by saying main and then we hit save. So if everything is fine, uh, here Webpack will build and then we see uh, main. Good, so once we have the main, now uh, the, the main will contain the article list. So before uh, having the article list here we need to uh, create it so inside of the src we will create a new folder called it article this folder basically will contain every related every component related to uh, an article like the article list the single article and this uh, article list item and so on and then here we create a new file we call it article list JS, of course, and of course, first we always need to import a React from uh, React and then define our class and export it. It will be called article list and extends the React component. saying uh, article list and then let's see what uh, this should be fine uh, what's wrong with that Article list extends React uh, component, and then we have the render method, and inside of here, ah, sorry, we need to return, of course. Um, yeah, so it's just we have the render method, and then it will return an H1 saying uh, article list now to test our article list we will import it here so we do import article list from since we're in the same folder so we just need to specify the file name article list and then inside of here 
and instead of our h1 we just say article list then hit save let's wait a little bit okay uh, so here it cannot resolve uh, main article list okay and main here ah sorry uh, here it's not the same folder we need to import from article It's from not form, and here, as you can see, we can see the article list. So everything is rendered fine. So uh, let's start by this article list uh, component. So here, basically, we'll have a list of all the articles, and then a user will eventually click one of them and then go to the detail. Um, so to have the list. Uh, a good thing is to have these items of the list uh, in a separate component so whenever you configure it once it will be uh, propagated through all the items in the list so here we go to article folder and then create a new uh, file called article list item so this is just a single item and then here of course we need to import React as usual, and then we define our class that is extending from React component, and uh, we have our render method. And here I'm missing class, of course. And in the article list item, I'll, g I'll go ahead and paste some basic HTML so you don't have to see me typing all of that. And basically, it's an article tag that has a few uh, other elements like an h2 for the title and it's actually an anchor to the detailed page and then um, some a short description and then the author image and name and date and so on so uh, we save here and then inside of article list now we will uh, define some fake data so basically we need to have a um, few articles to be rendered there as uh, our uh, template so we define uh, an articles array and then here uh, we have a for loop and inside the for loop we will loop through uh, six times for now uh, and then add uh, the article so we have like articles push and then uh, we push the uh, article list item uh, component and then we give it an ID with the uh, I with the index and then a key also. This for React to differentiate between uh, uh, components. So here I'm not importing article list item, so let's do that. From article list item, and then we hit save. Also here now uh, I'll be pasting some other HTML for convenience. So here it's like a basic container that will contain uh, the list. And then uh, in main here since we have uh, 
hospital list hopefully it will show up I think uh, I need to do something else Nothing in the errors. So, what are we doing wrong here? Ah, yeah. Here we are. So, as you can see here, we have uh, the list uh, of our articles, and yeah, this is the title, description, and then the author with the date. And this is basically um, the next video will be coming from Contentful and we'll have like routers to link to the details of the articles and so on.